Well, hello and uh, welcome to Gymnism Gym Nerdery channel. This time we will dig into ACF weapon systems and we will be going through the basic principles and we're also going to make a turret and different kinds of uh, ACF weapon systems that we can save as advanced duplicators or advanced duplicator files uh, and then spawn and uh, yeah strap onto ships and cars stuff whatever we're going to use a 30 37 millimeter regular cannon a small cannon and we're just going to have it as a manual cannon to show the principles of connecting up a cannon. And I think we're using that might be good. And we now call it these two. This is just to have some kind of base prop that we can have it on. So it looks a bit nicer, basic, if you will. And uh, this one I want to activate with a button. Therefore, we will find a nice button. I'm also going to do a controller so you can deactivate it. Let's have a nice fire button. Um, is this too big? Yeah, it's too big. Ah, I take this one anyways. Like a little switch. And then to show you a principle that you can use to uh, not accidentally turn on weapons, we put this uh, toggle button here. And then we're going to ACF menu and we're going to take uh, ammunition so this one we will have uh, armor piercing high explosive and you must choose the right cannon and you can look at this one you can see the 37 millimeter cannon and then we see here 37 millimeter cannon and then you just can't spawn the ammo crate like this it won't work you have to set these settings to different different volumes you can see here that uh, we have some data here we can change if we increase propellant length that's uh, a higher speed of the bullet so propeller propellant length is uh, basically how much gunpowder it is in every shot and pro projectile length controls armor piercing maximum penetration so you want to have these on a balanced area I think this is quite good and we have quite a lot high explosive volume and we want a tracer so we can see the bullet otherwise you can't see the bullet so yeah what about uh, this and how many shots are we going to get 107 that's more than we need whoops uh, that's probably a very heavy crate uh, because they weigh and you can change the weight of the crates because then they stop working uh, oh let's choose a smaller crate that's 18 shots that's uh, more appropriate maybe a bit little but uh, the weight is 100, so it, it will be 
enough. Well, you can put the ammo crates not too far from the cannon because then the link between them breaks. So uh, they have to be quite close. Oops. And uh, I'm actually going to take up this menu again and have two smaller crates. So that is nine shots in each of them. And we can like mount them, mount them inside. Or not mount them inside, but rather stack them under it. Uh, so this cannon will be a manual cannon and this one I think to mainly put as uh, a weapon on light airships that you can mount or cars also. Airships and cars that you can mount as a steady state gun. And uh, like that or something. So uh, it's always good to capsule in ammo crates in uh, some armor, but uh, armor takes some weight and it's uh, good if you just can put them uh, inside the vehicle so they're not uh, exposed. So we're going to null collide these for It's easier to build with. And uh, oh, they're quite straight. We're going to wire them to this wire button. Because this wire button will control if the weapon works or not. And uh, now we're going to build on that principle. I'm just going to weld them to space prop and before I forget it we need to take up our ACF menu tool so we just can right click on the gun and on the ammo crate and on the other one so we have linked them well now uh, we're going to wire menu and we're going to find a and add gate. Let's see, Artemic gates and add. So we have a better looking model, just that one is, should be good. Ah, we put this uh, and our gate down here, it's not so visible here. And this basically says that two values or more, now two values, have to be present to uh, activate something. Now, this is what we're going to use it for this time. You can use it in other ways also. But uh, A, we wire to this button and B to the other button. That means if we just activate this toggle button, it won't happen anything. And if we activate this button, it won't happen anything. Now I'm holding this button. That's not a toggle button, but if you press E, you can look in other directions. You can hold buttons, just so you know. But, but. We turn this on and this on. And now we have a value. And maybe it's more appropriate if the gun should be activated by, by one, but it doesn't really matter, so we want to care about that. And we just wire fire to this and add gate. So now we have the basic functions present, and now we're going to test how it works. So, now we have activated these ammo crates, 
and also made it possible to fire the gun at all. So we press first time and now it's loading. It's loaded, you can see. One in gun. Okay, let's back up a bit and fire. Well, he fired. As you heard and saw. And it outloads. So that's basically that. That's quite nice. And now we're going to add on some other technique that you might want to have. Like an indicator that uh, says if it's ready or not. So we are going to scroll up till we see the indicator. And now we have a little indicator. Spawn it here. And we connect A to the gun to ready. So when it's yellow, it's ready. And when you press fire, it's not ready and it's loading ready. So that's basically a pixel. It's a uh, well, it's not too useful with this gun as it loads fast as it is. But on larger gun, there can be quite nice to have indicators. Um, I have a. I can show you that actually. I'm just going to spawn it. Let's see where it is. My racer car, I have two large hovitzers mounted on it. And there I use indicators to see when they are ready. So there we have one. I have two 25 millimeter hovitzers. And they're connected to the same ammo crate box. Uh, let's just unfreeze this and get inside. Uh, the engines sound quite a lot. And now we're pressing both buttons um, so we can load the guns. And now they're ready to fire. Fire! Fire! And I think I have the reverse colors here, but it doesn't really matter. But, uh, well, these are quite heavy guns. So, it's a very heavy car also. So there's a more useful way of using indicators. So well, we, wa we might want to uh, better up the design on this. And uh, also we're going to add a capsule of uh, protection for the ammo crates. And that we're going to do a limited lightweight armor. More like a protection from, uh, whoops, splash damage. Let's see if we can generate. Well, I uh, forgot to put on the recording again. But here I have um, spawned some of thin plates and uh, connected them together to make a little box that could protect the ammo from splash damage or direct hit by smaller bullets. So, before we do this, it could be nice to have a screen that tell how many shots there are left in the ammo crates. So, uh, now we have multiple ammo crates, but uh, that's just very little more wiring required. I don't know what is the smallest screen. I usually prefer to like always use this one, but not here. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's find it. I think now 
it's probably this one, that one. And we're going to, yeah, ammo. Like that. Uh, 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 shot in or armed. What's most useful? Well, it's quite good to know if, 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 if uh, it's armed. Yeah. Now we continue. Let's spawn this screen. We have ammo and armed. And now we want to go down to gates. Up. Down, up, up. I never learn. And we want to have add gate. And we just uh, put it discreetly on the corner. And now we're going to take wire tool and have. Whoops, I mean, we first need to point at the add gate and put the A2 mentions. And B to the other one mentions. And then we have the combined value of the ammo crates, which is 14. And then we can link A, which is ammo, to the this one, add gate, that adds together all the present ammo crates. And armed, we can connect to that one, so you know if the cannon should be working. Well, that's basically that. Now we can, uh, let's just no collide this for convenience. Let's just open it all. I hope it doesn't affect the usefulness, but if you want to put it in a ship you don't want to, or a car you don't want to remove all the parts just to get this in. Let's just connect them together and we have this sticking out here and that's completely okay. Well, well, now we want to weld it. We just weld everything to the base block. We are going to change the weights later to make it more stable. Oh crap, I forgot one. Uh, da -da -da -da. That goes fast anyways. Like that. And now we're going to look at weights. Uh, just don't care about that. Uh, we want to change this to 100 maybe. Good. This is 300 and you can change it that then it will stop working. Um, and we want to change the materials and as you may have noticed if I like rust. And this one we want to color more like uh, Oh yeah, that's nice, that's nice, you know. Just texture that one too. Well, that should be good. Mm -hmm. Well, this is all about design. I think I want a darker color on the gun. Just take a light gray and put it on and it gets a bit darker. It's too dark. Let's have a more light gray. Yeah, that's better. And maybe we we'll want to have something uh, to aim with. We just scroll up to thin plates and take the most thin plate. And we now collide this one and we take a material on it. That's nice. Oops. You know, this is small. Is it too big? Ah, that's good. I think it's just the length we need, actually. Like that. And we want to weld this one to the can and to the base part. Well, let's increase this and see if everything works. Oh, wait, one thing. We also want to uh, 
take ACF armor properties. 30, I don't know really, I'm not the armor expert. 99, uh, okay, we go down to 20, and that's 60, that's okay. I don't know if uh, this is any armor, but it's uh, at least much more armor than before. So, well, it's basically a... to take the splash damage from nearby exploding shells. And to make this uh, even more stable, we want to multi-parent it. Multi-parent it. And then we take all this stuff here. And that one, and the gates, and the indicator. Oops. Uh, remember to not parent the guns or the ammo crate because then, well, then they won't work. So now we have built our manual cannon. It looks quite nice and we can uh, test it again. Activate. We can use these iron sights and well, 14 shots left, it's armed. Fire. Well, that's nice. And now everything works completely fine, so we shall save it as an advanced duplicator. And do not use duplicator for complex structures, especially not with ACF and wire mod. Especially not. I mean, I have some simple things in my dupes. Um, I tried to make dupes of some vehicles I made before here, but they're laggy, they won't work as they should, and it's just really bad. Here you have, I, I use this vehicle controller. Uh, when I make a vehicle, I just have made this before, and I don't have to wire the basic things all over any time I make a vehicle. So, well, that works. But complex structures like zeppelins, airships, cars with guns and stuff, you just want to have them in advanced duplicator because it's just a much better tool. So we want to save it here. We're going to copy this little structure. And we're going to save it, and we're going to name it uh, Canon 37 millimeters Manual. Canon, yeah, like that. And then you right-click here and save. That's an advanced duplicator, and yeah, here I have my files, and I have Andrew folders and stuff. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and well, thanks for watching! Er, before we end, or if you want to see, I can try to demonstrate some other stuff when we run it. So, this maybe is a bit uh, more nerdery than uh, most people want to know, but whatever. Now we're going to change the color of the shots, and that's completely easy. You just take a color. We want the, the shots to have a yellow tracer instead of white or a light, more spaced tracer, like a red tracer. Then we go into this, and we change the color of the ammo crates. And, well, it's of course easier to see if you have it, a dark map, but... I didn't see shit. Mm. Okay. If we do like this. We hope. Yeah, you can see it. Here you see it. Here you could see the red tracer. It's, uh, I think it's 700 meters per second, this uh, 
fire so it's not it's not strange that you have to look over a larger distance to see the shot. Let's see, we have six shots left. We're going to spawn a vehicle. Let's just use the duplicator and spawn a vehicle. It's not really good to use the standard duplicator, but we're just going to test the cannon on it. So this vehicle works much less efficient than it usually would. Whoops. On, uh, you know, with the advanced duplicator, just. Well, let's try it. I don't know if I hit. Let's use the sight. Yeah, you can see. I hit the armored frame. Aha, you can hear the ammo box. It's going to blow up. Oh my god. Yep. And this is why I like, this is why I like armor piercing high explosive. It just tears into it and explodes the ammo. Yeah, I like. Well, now um, I assure you that this is the real end of this video. So thanks for watching you who have stayed with me a little bit time longer. Yes, thank you and salute.